Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I want to talk to you about a very important topic that you must learn to discern. Are you helping somebody or are you just being exploited? Let's talk about it. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there are some people out here with a condition so bad that the only help, you know, for them is deliverance. Is walking in truth, fearing the most high Yah, keeping his commandments. But a lot of the people that make up the population and what I'm talking about today they reject that. They don't want deliverance. They don't think they're sick. They think they have a good heart. You know, you can call yourself helping out a brother or a sister. In your eyes, you'll say, oh yeah, I'm helping them out. In the book, the Bible, according to, you know, scripture would tell you to avoid them. And it's not anything feeling based it's about their behavior and the way that they choose to live their life is very wicked and unrighteous and them pursuing the way of the world and not the most high yah and the most high yah would tell you uh he would say from such turn away or avoid such people but here you go being a good samaritan thinking you yourself are the savior and can save these people you make excuses for helping them out over and over again. You know, I wanna warn you that a lot of these people that you call yourself helping out are nothing but vipers. Nothing but vipers. And they're just waiting on an opportunity to bite you. And no matter much, and no matter how much you help a snake and feed it these, these crickets, these rats, these mices, you will start to ignorantly think, okay, I've developed a relationship. This snake is lead, leaving, uh, you know, his very uh, aggressive natural instinct to bite, to strike. And when you're being exploited, you're going to feel like you are getting drained. Listen to what I'm saying you're gonna feel like you're getting drained. People that exploit you know you have something to offer. Listen to me. People that exploit you know you have something to offer. This is, this is why anytime somebody gives me something for free, man, I make sure I give an offering so they know, man, you're not being exploited. You're not being exploited, you know, because it's so common for those that have to have a circle full of people around them that they think they're helping, but the people around them know they have exploitation in their heart. And the day, here's the biggest mistake you can, you can make. The day where you find yourself in some tribulation and needing a little bit of help it is the same people that will bite you. This is their opportunity to strike and show you what venom they have. These people will talk to you as if you've never done anything for them. That's letting you know they're exploiting you. It's very important that you don't let, you know, everybody know what you have because people will exploit you. Okay, it, it, it can be as simple as this. It's one thing to help somebody out if they're along your way as far as, okay, it's on my way to where I'm going, on my way to work. I can pick you up, you know, a couple times, go to the same spot. Here's another one. And now, 
You have to be able to discern when you're being exploited. It's another thing when people know you have a car, they don't have a car, but behind the scenes, they live in their best life, you know, and they want you to go out of your way to be able to take them somewhere that's not where you're going, and they do this over and over and over and over again. And over again. And they're conditioned while you're in the car, you're having talks. Hey, man, this is how you, you know, you get it together and this is how you do that. You and yourself, you think, yeah, we're having some good talks, you know, good, good, good brotherhood, and you're being exploited. Men, men oftentimes don't even realize they're being exploited by a lot of these women through fair speech. All a woman got to do for a lot of men that don't discern is tell you you're good looking and you're fine. And you'll, you'll be like, oh man, this woman is head over heels for me. Meanwhile, she's exploiting you. Why? Because uh, she wants a roof over her head. You know, your refrigerator's stock full of food. And, and, and the day's gonna come, like I said, when that doggone snake is gonna show you it's true viper spirit. It's the same thing with, with worthless men out here. These men, through fair speech, tell vulnerable women what they want to hear, and then they take advantage of them. They exploit them. I'm telling you, oftentimes, when you think you're helping somebody, you're, you're, it's nothing more than being exploited. When certain people, you know, you got family that will call you constantly, begging for money. You know, sometimes every couple months, hey, you know, my water heater went out. Hey, you know, this went out. Hey, you know, that went out. Hey, I got to get the brakes changed on my car. Hey, I got to get this. I mean, there's a difference between being exploited and helping somebody. Listen to me. There's a difference. See, when you don't have it, you'll realize that people can't exploit you. When you don't have it to give or you don't let it be known, you're going to realize, man, your peace your peace is going to be maintained where when you are exploited, nobody is out here exploiting people saying, well, let me just make sure he got a half his cup filled. I'm only going to take half. No, their goal is to take all of it. And if you let it be known that your cup is full, man, they're going to take it. They're going to. So I'm going to tell you this. There's certain things that you you want to avoid telling people. I'm going to be honest with you. If you get a raise or anything like that, don't go telling everybody, especially if you know uh, they don't fear the most high y'all keep. You don't need, what for? Oftentimes you run your mouth and it sets you up. You got one family member that's gonna go back and tell another family member and then they're gonna attack you from different ways and you're gonna be saying, man, why is everybody going through it all at once? No, it was a scheme to exploit you. You got families that have been burnt. Relationships have been burnt because of what I'm talking about exploitation you know the most high y'all bless you with something you don't got to tell everybody you need to thank him but you don't need to tell everybody what he blessed you with you gonna realize most high y'all bless you with a nice place to stay and you got more space than you ever had don't be surprised if somebody's somebody's got a struggle where they're getting evicted for some nonsense that could have they could have uh prevented but they chose not to man it's all kind of all kinds of exploitation when you look at it. But I'm not telling you not to help anybody. I'm telling you to discern. Are you truly helping them? Is the, is the problem, okay, if the person has a problem with overspending and living a lavish lifestyle but never have the money, you know, is never saving any money and you're constantly giving them money, are you helping them or hurting them? You possibly could be hurting them while they're exploiting you. People are, uh, water's gonna go to the path of least resistance. Water's not gonna go uphill. You know, water wants to flow uh, according to gravity. And that's the way people are when they exploit you. They're gonna grieve you and they say, hey, if this person over here gives me a hard time about getting what I'm asking for, and this person over here gives me an easy time and it's almost effortless, no wonder why the person that's very easy to persuade is the one always getting exploited. You have to be very cautious of this because you got to think, man, there's only, you know, one from a family, two from a city, you know, that will be doggone spared. And when you think about it in the family, there's usually somebody in the family that's very strong. 
only a couple in the family that's very strong. And oftentimes they get exploited by the people who choose to remain willfully ignorant, choose to be weak, when they've had more time in this lifetime to get it right than you had. Listen to me, pay attention. This is where a lot of your stress comes from. I stay low key. I don't keep people all in my business because I know that there's monitoring spirits. And one thing, monitoring spirits, if you're constantly giving out what the Most High Yah intended for you to have, and you're constantly giving away, you don't get to enjoy the blessing. Listen to what I'm saying. If the Most High Yah has allowed you to constantly have food in your refrigerator, and you're constantly giving food away to people that rather spend their money on Jordans and, and, and red bottoms and, and pocketbooks and purses, Man, when you are when you are feeling like you're at rock bottom because your doggone stomach is touching your spine, you're gonna look at life as if you haven't been blessed. The fact of the matter is, you have. It's just people watched you and saw, oh, they, they oh you over there, what you eating for dinner tonight? Oh, you eating steak? Oh, they're coming up with these schemes, these struggle schemes on how to exploit you. Beware of this because you may not be helping a brother or a sister. You may simply be. In, you may simply be just getting exploited. Close to the Yon Ministry, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.